Masai Mara, a photographer's paradise from the country Kenya of African continent. Masai Mara is well known for its pristine river and forests, dramatic high cliffs, stunning savannas, and of course, the lovely sunrise and sunsets every day. A gigantic place for all the big and small animals that roam freely on the land. Innumerable big and small birds to fly on the sprawling land. It was a fine morning when we were in search of a Rongai pride inside the reserve and we saw a small part of the pride resting with a big herd of elephants crossing the road without any fear. I saw a small cub being playful with his mom and definitely he must be a cub of a lower club and if not Olaimina as both are the family caretakers. Hot air balloons are the tourist attraction in Masai Mara and are expensive trips. The balloon trip is for two hours and it costs ranging from 400 US dollars and up to 600 US dollars depending upon the service you prefer. Breakfast is included in the trip cost and you need to reserve your seat a day before by checking with your hotel staff. This little group of Rongai pride is under the watchful leadership of Lord Club and Olankhera. On this hazy day, there was a huge Cape or African buffalo herd resting and it has plenty of calves and were surrounded by the male buffaloes. They are cautious and are always on alert as they know the Rongai pride is around. Protecting the females and calves is the utmost priority of these male buffaloes. The Cape Buffaloes helps and supports each other when attacked by the lions and not like zebras or wild bees who give up their herd members easily and keeps moving on. Kera in Maasai language means babysitter. Early 2022 and the only survivor from the litter and is the first and oldest among all other siblings of Rongai pride. Polankera loves taking care of his brothers and sisters from the second litter. He was born to Olo Siadu, the black rock lion brother who was killed few years back. Olo Siadu, the brother of Olobar, Olo Shipa, Olai Mina and Lorkulip, was meeting with the Rongai queen Bareface. Olobar along with Olo Siadu took turns in meeting with the females of Rongai and at the time including Olenkera mom and they both mated with her. But who is the real dad of Olenkera? It was either Olabar or Olosiadu. But based on the Olenkera face, it's almost a certain that Olosiadu, the missing black rocker, is his dad. Olosiadu was closer to Olabar but disappeared suddenly and his death was mysterious till date. He left his legacy behind who is Olankera, the son of a legendary Olosiadu.
on Jan 27th, 2024, we all heard a very sad news that came from Masai Mara. The legendary Olober from Black Rock Pride was killed by the herders and his body disappeared without any information. Many reports suggest that he was killed by the humans as a human-wildlife conflict. Ulankera is a caring elder brother and the best babysitter in the Mara lands. He always plays with the cubs without growling them away. Cubs belong to his mom's sisters. Lions normally babysit the cubs when the lioness goes for hunting. Kidongo or half tail, born into the Rongo pride, sighed by the Black Rock boys. This young prince has all the attributes of a dominant male in the making. From Olobert's massive physique and the daring nature and also larger than the life personality. Half tail is closer to Olankera, but he is quite very young to join him in the adventures together. But he often takes the chances of being a lovely younger brother, accompanying his bigger brother Olankera in hunting by displaying his own tactics and learnings that he learned from his uncles Oloshipa, Olaimina and Lorkulap.
Pills from the Pride, Burn in 2017-18, to signed by the old black rock males by name Bena, Longo and Orkini. And these were signed by old Sopa males. And to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night These five brothers are none other than today Olober, Oloshipa, Oloimina, Olisiadu, and Lorkulap. Unfortunately, both Olisiadu and Olober were killed by making the group respecting to just three. Now the Rongai and Majia Fisi prides are under the complete control of these black rock boys. Olashiba is often roaming around Majia Fisi area which is a, a bit threat to him due to the aggressive lionesses and the subadults which are already in that pride. They may not welcome Oloshipa. So Oloshipa has to be very careful. This long eye pride has a long way to go but they have to stick and stay together and some days back when Olober was alive he has chased Olankera out of the pride but he came back again and was accepted by all the lionesses and his cousins of the Rongai pride. Lorkulup. Lorkulup is a great buffalo hunter, a father figure and a humble natured lion brother of Black Rock Pride. Lorkulup is named because of his wet nose and he is the younger among five brothers. It was surprising to see Lorkulup not reacting aggressively when Olenkera returned to the Pride when he was kicked out by Olaver. Lord Kulup gracefully accepted Olenkera into the pride and was given a bigger role of taking care of Rongai pride when he is not around. Lord Kulup is a skilled buffalo hunter and is loved by his pride often because he provides food for them. He can kill a heavy buffalo in minutes and can provide meat to his family at least for three or four days. Oxpeckers Birds like oxpeckers spend time to lodge grazing mammals such as cape, buffaloes, rhinos, 
zebras and wild beasts. It's a symbiosis where both organisms benefit. They clean their hosts by eating insects on their skin and warning them about the approaching threats. Indeed, both are mostly friends. Oxpecus pick parasites on the mammal's body, including ticks and blood-sucking flies. This may help keep the mammal's parasite load under control, and the birds get an easy meal. Adopting hunting skills of Lorculup, Olankera, and Halftail are taking down a buffalo and killing in less time. Lorculup is a great uncle for both now. Lorculup is also a dad for the last litter and there is a small cub under the care of a lioness and the lioness mother often growls at her sister's son Olankera. The journey in search of a prey continues as the family needs a fully grown buffalo. Olankera is seen often mingling much with his close uncle Olaimina, but he never moves out of the sight from his cousins. The legendary Lorculup scans all around the grasslands for a perfect timing and prey. single buffaloes. The old buffaloes are often kicked out of the herd by the young buffaloes as they are no more capable of being with the herd anymore. Hence they always become a soft target for the lion's pride. When Olankera was dispersed from the pride by his uncles Olobar and Oloshipa, he ventured all alone in the Topi pride regions for some days. And in the absence of both uncles, he came back to the pride and all the lionesses gracefully accepted him along with his favorite uncle Lorkla. And later they both hunted down a heavily built buffalo. Interestingly, few days back when Olobar was alive, he has disappeared for a few days and came back to the pride. But the lionesses of the pride along with Olankera and his cousins chased Olobar close to the river. This clearly shows Olankera has taken a bit of revenge on Olobar, his uncle. Buffaloes Buffaloes are considered one of the big five, a term grouping them with leopards, rhinoceroses, 
elephants and lions as the most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa. A Cape buffalo is called as a black death for its dangerous personality. They are known to be grumpy and unpredictable. Lower club is moving. Lower club is moving. Yeah, it's coming, brother. No, it's not coming, but it, it's, no, it's moving. It's coming down, Cape buffaloes are known for their robust build and muscular stature. They are the largest to all the five subspecies of Masai Mara. Weighing around 300 to 850 kilograms, these are incredibly large animals and stand at a height of approximately 5 feet at the shoulder. Cape buffaloes are estimated that they are the four times stronger than an ordinary ox. Lord Kulup, being a skilled hunter, targets the nose and mouth of the buffalo by tightly piercing his strong canines and making the buffalo breathless and holds it for a longer time until the buffalo is dead. His skills are often praised and is titled as a great buffalo killer of Masai Mara by many wildlife photographers and wildlife lovers.
buffaloes with their strong horns can dangerously pierce into the lion's body and tear its skin by killing them on the spot. It's not easy at all to mess with a herd that consists hundreds of buffaloes. Lions often choose to hunt by climbing on top of the buffalo's body and at times holding the tail harder and finally making the buffalo to fall on the ground. Lord Gulup has gifted himself with many fans and followers across the world. In coming days, Rongai Pride will soon dominate the Majiya Fisi area and Olankera will lead the Pride along with his uncles. Oloshipa was having his honeymoon days with the lioness of Majiya Fisi and he should come back to Rongai Pride soon. Long live Rongai Pride, long live Olenkera, Half Tail, and long live uncles Lorkulup, Olemina, and Oloshipa. <laughs>